Scorpio, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries for the week ahead, November 15th through the 21st of 2019. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or any place where Scorpio affects your chart, these are the energies that you can rely on for the week ahead. Scorpio, two things very clearly as I'm thinking about your reading, as I'm taking in all the energy, one was this huge guffaw of a laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was cute. That was that was cute. Type of energy of, yeah, I think some people are trying to mess with you. But this time it doesn't get to you. It doesn't psych your head. It doesn't make you so angry you're out of control. It doesn't even spur your energy of vengefulness or defensiveness. It's a laugh. It's like a joke at this point. And laughter is the best way to insult somebody who takes themselves very seriously. And I think you know that, which is part of why you're having such a good time laughing at people. Also, the Sam, um, the Sam, um, how was his name? How do you sleep when you lie to me? That song kept coming in your heads, in my head, in my head, in my head. So it's almost like this, this, um, there was a line from that song. I hope my love keeps you up tonight. So it's almost like you knowing somehow intuitively that the energies are working in your favor. And it doesn't mean all the chaos has cleared. It means you have a sense of understanding that it's actually got your back. In some ways, you're the king of the chaos for this coming week. So let's get into your oracle reading, the full tarot spread and romance reading. That's in the extended and that link is below. Let's get into your oracle oracle card reading. So energies. Oh my God, it has got something to say. Oracle, oracle, oracle reading for Scorpio. Energies for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or any placement. Scorpio energy. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio energy. November 15th through the 21st of 2019. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio energy, November 15th to the 21st of 2019. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio energy, November 15th to the 21st of 2019. Scorpio energy, I can already tell you right now, there is a movement in progress, almost like you're taking off like a rocket ship. There is that feeling of just not waiting for anybody. <sighs> November, but the song, Sam Smith, is still in my head. How do you sleep when you lie to me? Mm. How do you sleep? How do you sleep? But there is a sense of security in you. Crowning energy. Crowning energy. Too much. Too much. Too much. Let's get your crowning energy, Scorpio. Crowning energy for Scorpio, November 15th. There it is. November 15th through the 21st of 2019. You want to come out? Yep. Ooh, this is a big one. November 15th through the 21st of 2019. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Here we go. Crowning energy. Let spirit be your guide. This is that absolute certainty that everything is going to blow up in their face. This absolute certainty. And nope, nobody has to prove it to you, show it to you. And at this point, you know it. You know it so integrally what you may not know is that you're the driving force behind it, but you have this foresight about you, this um, constitution in your soul that is rooted in the very depths of the underworld itself and has sprung up and touched upon the light. And there's this energy of, I know what you did. I saw what you did last summer type of thing. That's the energy of, I know what you did. And through my eyes, everybody else is going to know what you did. It's really cute. Look at how you run. Look at how fast you're running. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I'm a hawk. I can catch you and chew you up and spit you out in a heartbeat. That is the mentality of you this week, that crowning energy of I'm 
progress, moving forward, not letting all of the chaos. If I feel like you are the storm, you remember that meme, that meme of, um, the devil can try to catch you in the storm, but you laugh and say, ha ha, I am the storm. You know that mean? You've heard that expression, right? That's the feeling I'm getting of, but I am the chaos. I am the driving factor. I am that element of shock, surprise, and confusion. Who do you think you're messing with, talking to? And there's a laughter here. There's a sense of watch and wait, because remember, hawks circle and they look from afar and they swoop at a very specific time when they're absolutely certain. So there is a sense of ambush predator this week where you are absolutely certain that you don't need to lift a finger until that moment when you do and then you have them. That is 100% your energy and it is not just your energy and that's what I'm trying I want you to know, Scorpio, this is that Jupiter energy coming in and pushing you, like filling you up and, and supporting you, energizing you, ensuring that whatever it was that was running amok in your life is getting purged. Even if it's you yourself that finally have the energy and strength to purge it and to not let it constantly eat at you and feed on you. You're rising above it, getting a bullseye on it. It caught in your hatch mark. And it's toast after that. It's just, it's like almost like at that point you could black out and in the morning there'll just be sunshine. And you won't have to remember what happened because you already saw it happen ahead of time. Okay, so like all of the cards are like swooping forward, swooping in that direction. So let's keep going, shall we? Let's keep going. Let's keep the energy moving. These all came out for Virgo. Okay, so you may be dealing with Virgo, but there is a tremendous sense of predator. What did I say? There's this tremendous predatory sense of, I have you in my sights. Run, run, run as fast as you can. There is absolutely no way you can outrun me because I'm not even running, I'm flying above you. And it's almost like I've also tipped off the higher powers to what you're all about. So it's like, listen, karma doesn't need the light to see. The universe doesn't need forensic proof. There's no need for fingerprints when you're dealing with spirit. I don't have to chase you because now spirit sees you. You have this tremendous sense of it's seeing through my eyes. It's like spirit is on my side. They get it. They're seeing through my eyes now. They know exactly what's going on and exactly what's happening and the out is going to come through me. Not necessarily because of me. I don't think that you have to do much at all. Like I said, there's almost this sense of a crocodile waiting. You ever see that? Okay. If I can find it, I'll attach it above here. But it may actually get me in trouble with Google. So let me just explain it to you. <laughs> there is this, there is this um, viral video that shows this little yippy dog, yippy 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 kind of yippy dog, little tiny thing, kind of a mutt, but little tiny, little, like chihuahua or Pomeranian size, not necessarily that breed, but it, it was that size, right? This little yippy dog. And they, they must have lived, you know, in an area where there was crocodiles because there was a crocodile that would kind of come onto its property. And they showed like this, this video of this dog running out running out and chasing and yipping at the alligator. And they were like, oh, oh my God, look at, look at the crocodile. I think it was a crocodile, not an alligator. Oh, he's scared of the dog. You could see them laughing, right? And over and over again, this dog yipped out, yip, 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 being all big and bad, going after this alligator. And the crocodile would turn around, go back into the water, turn around, go back in the water, turn around, go back in the water. No more dog. 
<laughs> like it was like the video, they, the owners were so cocky. They had gotten so cocky that this little yippy dog could chase away a crocodile. They got so cocky. Every time the crocodile went, went back, just went away, went away, went away until it got hungry. <laughs> it was like, and all of a sudden you could hear the owners go, <gasps> ah! you know, like, are you really? And that's why that was that sense of, Really? Did you think my teeth fell out? Really? You know, that, that sense of like, who, what did you think was actually, like, how do you get off and get high on a feeling so, you know, you're a yippy, nippy, snappy, stupid little dog. You know you have a stupid little dog. You're stupid sending out this little dog. You don't have the nerve to go after the crocodile. And now your dog, which you encourage to be behaving stupidly, gets eaten. You literally, by buffing up this animal's ego, literally hand it over to the slaughter, thinking that it's just so funny until it's dead. That's, that's the mentality. That's the mentality. And that's why you're sitting back this week, Scorpio, like... Run, run, run as fast as you can. <laughs> like you just, there's a sense, and it's not even vengefulness. It's not vengefulness. And this is that wonderful, that's that wonderful energy of flying above it all, of, of spirit is working through you. Because honestly, you will be, you may be the conduit. Let spirit be your guide. You're going to be the conduit. You're following in faith. That's why you're so calm. You know now. That somebody's clued in the higher powers, the powers that be. And it's not just you that's seeing it anymore. Through you, everybody is seeing it. Spirit is working through you. So this is not revenge at all. This is just, you are who you are. And the moment is not. The timing is right. Ooh. Be here now. What did I just say? You, it, the words just came out of my mouth. Be here now. That's telling me, Scorpio, now. The moment is now. This week, now. This, this, this is the moment. This is now. Now is when spirit comes swooping down. When the alligator, alligator or crocodile swings around and grabs that little nippy dog. Now, now. Whoever it has been, whatever it has been that has been harming you, bring your ideas to life. S snap! Like it's alive, you know? People thought that you, were, that you were dead. But there's this energy, this resurgence of ambush predator instinct. Remember, an ambush predator is an animal that's got to eat. They're not vengeful. This is nature. And I think that that's what's going on this week is that this is the balance of things. If things had it, had more unbalanced, it's literally like that plutonic push to balance them out again. Whoever got it twisted that they could get away with all of this craziness, like, like thinking that they like are high on their power could get away with like all those people with the, you know, like in the Spanish Inquisition, high on their power to take advantage of people that they thought were smaller than them. And then everything getting twisted around and re being revealed about just how evil they were. Like that's the energy. It's not even you. It's that's why I think there's so much calm and peacefulness in you because you can feel that, yeah, all of these things are now aligned. And it, they may be working through me. I may be the conduit. I may be the deliverer of the truth. This is your card. Let it shine. This is scorpionic energy. It's the resurrection bird. A peacock is akin to the phoenix, which is the cycle of life and death. So that's you. This is you. This is you standing in your glory. And what did I say? Through your voice and the truth that you share, you're shedding light. You are the spotlight. You're the floodlight on these 
occurrences, these happenings, the truth, like nobody can get around you. It's, it's just, you have bought this truth to light. People are going to listen to you this week out of the blue. Finally, 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 you will be heard. Spirit has a plan. It's all been divinely guided. And remember, koala also sits high in the, in the trees and watches. They wait. Koala doesn't move a lot. They're still and they watch just like an ambush predator. Now, a koala isn't an, an ambush predator at all. A koala is not even a predator. A koala is an, is an herbivore. <laughs> they, eat, they eat the trees, right? So it's not about hunger. It's about balance. It's not about vengeance. It's about truth and what really needs to happen to have this happen, which is peace and enlightenment. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. So I think you go in through this week with a tremendous sense of certainty. Now knowing that even if you felt all alone on earth, you were not alone spiritually. Ooh, this and ooh. Mm, you're cleaning out the closet. Cleaning out the clutter. This is a Cancerian energy more or less the low vibrational cancerian energy of clinging on to things holding on to things so tight you start to hurt yourself well not this week this week you're letting it all go you're letting it all go because there's a trust in you there's a level of faith in you that hasn't been there before that i can fall back and spirit will catch me like it's i'm handing this over to the higher powers because you see you see that it's almost like they're coming back and asking you. They're finally listening to what you have to say. So you can dump it all on them and let it be their responsibility. Truth transcends illusion. This is my other Scorpio card. Because, um, because Dragonfly is about transcendence and uh, becoming something more than what it was born it starts in the water it ends up in the air and i always see this as fire beneath it so this is you blossoming and blooming and flying away from it all being once again above it all transcending your own truth and transcending whatever it was you were stuck in and, and I have been seeing two, two, two everywhere. So this is a sense of, as you close out Scorpio season, it gifting you with a whole new life. And it starts with the truth coming out. So whatever it is, now hopefully it hasn't been you that's been hiding something because then all of this energy will be revealing you. But that's not what I feel. I, this is truly energy that is working in your favor to reveal anything and everything that thought it could get at you. Anything and everything that thought it could harm you. It's, it, it's, it's undressed. It's stripped. The curtain is torn away. It's done. The illusion is broken. And the real people who are evil, the real evil, the real bad, the real malignancy is that ego. That, oh, you can keep getting away with this. They can keep getting away with it. Like that little nippy dog has no real power. Never really had any real power. It had, it had no chance. But it was being bolstered by this group of idiots that were, wanted, that, that were getting entertained by the idea that this little thing could overpower this animal that was clearly better than it. Clearly that crocodile was better than this little nippy dog. But the illusion of this little piddly thing could overcome this, basically one of the most profoundly perfect ambush predators on our earth. They haven't even had to evolve that much. They were so perfectly designed to be what they are. You know what I'm saying? And this little nippy dog, that's like not even one hundredth of what a wolf used to be could run up and take it over. Oh yeah, because they had these idiots like the, the mean girls crowd or the, the jocks in school. Like, oh, so funny. <laughs> like, like you would think the world was on this little dog's side because it kind of was. It wanted to believe that something mediocre or even underdeveloped could overcome something exceptional. Nope. 
And that's the sense of calm. And there it is. I'm going to turn the camera around so we can review this spread. Hold on. I just realized how perfect run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> You're a monster. Remember that scene from Shrek? But it's that same mentality of Lord Farquaad, who was this diminutive little imp who, who bullied people. And he's taking on Shrek, who literally vanquished all of his best soldiers with a sweep of one hand. And the thing was about Shrek was Shrek, has, Shrek actually has very scorpionic energy. He just wanted to be alone in the place where he felt at peace. He wanted to protect what was meaningful to him, and he wasn't going to bother anybody. He was more than happy to scare the you-know-what, the bejesus out of people to protect himself and this little piece of heaven that he established for himself. But he wasn't an ambitious person. And he was really not somebody who wanted to do any harm, right? But Lord Farquaad, this underdeveloped imp who was nothing but a bully, really thought that he could win because he had all these scared, cowardly people supporting him, not telling him what he really was. Like, that's the story that I really want you to get in your mind. That you will have your happy ending. And I think you know that now. And it will lead you actually to that place, that person that you probably never thought you'd meet, which is your Fiona, right? Now, they may not look the way you thought they would look, but they'll, they'll be perfect for you. Now, there's your crowning energy. Hawk, let spirit be your guide. There's that spirit energy of, I'm going to eat all these little piddly things. I got my hunger on. My ambush predator has come out. And you can't hide. This is very Aquarian energy. You can't hide from the truth. And what did it say? Truth transcends illusion. This is the card of truth. This is the Aquarian energy. Aquarian is the truth bearer. Truth. Maybe an ugly truth. But it's the truth. And it's just going to rip through like a Category 5 hurricane. And the only things left standing are the ones with constitution and truth. You don't have to worry. Your story is finally being heard. This is, this is bigger than vindication. I want you to see that it's actually transcendence. It's not just vindication. It's more than vindication. It's you being able to finally be happy after a long time in the dark. That's really what's so important about what this message is saying, this, this message today, is that spirit is working in your favor. You finally have the strength and the backing to move out of this sense of stuck, worthlessness, depression, hurt, sorrow, fear, worry. Because, or, or feeling like almost believing this close that you're crazy because everybody keeps laughing at you. That's just not, no, now is the time. See, be here now shows up. Now is the time. This is very Libra energy, which is balance. The balance, what did I keep saying for the whole reading? This is, this is not about V for Vend. Actually, that's a great movie. V for Vendetta. That is wonderful energy to think of. Because really him, as much as it was about vengeance, it really wasn't really. He existed to put balance back into the world. And the reason why everything he did worked out was because now was the time. Now was the time. Years went by. And now, like that crocodile and that little yippy dog, now. The time is now. For balance to happen again, the truth to come out, and for people to hear you loud and clear. I want to. Feel, I'm pulling a full tarot card spread to get more details. Moving forward, what will come out of this, and a glimpse at your romance reading. I'll see you over there, Scorpio.